to uh, Neville Model Making and uh, Tommy is uh, Kawasaki Ninja ZXR. And what we're doing this time is we're doing the, uh, the engine. It's all in one uh, part. So what we've done so far is uh, basically built up the main engine block and to uh, prime in a uh, UMP's cross black and uh, what we do next is painting the different parts. Um, yeah, so the car is said to do it in um, metallic grey, that's XF56, and it has an aluminium stripe across the middle. Uh, we'll do a look around uh, the Wonder Web, um, see some pictures of the engine, and the ones I've seen is not actually that it's dark. So I've uh, just treated myself to some new paints. It's got the colour Super Metallic um, Colours, um, it's the metal, it's metal colours. So what I want to do is do the most of it in Super Titanium, I don't know if you can read that. And uh, do the stripe in the uh, aluminium. And there's other parts picked out in uh, chrome. So I've got a uh, metal colour, chrome silver, and there's blue bits, uh, some gold bits, and uh, semi gloss as usual. So I'll be uh, splitting these up into uh, different parts, getting them uh, sprayed up, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, that's all the uh, engine painted up. So I've used um, the main part of it, Super Titanium 2, and uh, picked out a few bits and pieces. Now, this is uh, XF34, which is, can you remember these? Metallic Brown, and uh, let me down the bottom here. So, uh, in this part, I think it was a mixed up colour, so I've done this with the Remember, just the colour stainless. So we'll uh, to get a little bit sorted out, and then we'll uh, put some pieces together. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, left hand side of the engine, and we've got a little uh, light to fit and a hose attachment. This goes on, on here. Okay, and uh, the hose attachment. Let's go goes on. Have an extra thing. Okay, we are around the front. We put the uh, sun pan, which again should be a different colour, but uh, we don't need all the same. So this matches up shape on the back. Oh, and this has a little uh, metallic brown column there. So again, we'll get some uh, extra thin in that train. Okay, and there we see this uh, arrangement, which goes into these two holes. So that's been painted uh, uh, XF85, which is rubber black, and uh, aluminium, I think that is. 
There's attachment to the top. And this is chrome and uh, that's XF8, sorry, flat blue. And then we come to the back. We have the oil filter, which goes in that uh, semicircle hole there. Okay, like so. Now, if you read the instructions, this part here with the two holes in you should really fit that. This part on top of it. But if I've uh, done it separately, of course, that was. One colour in this is done in chrome, but it does mean you can't get it to fit without nipping off the look that goes in there. So on this side we have another panel, which goes in there. itself if it's on so that's uh crop silver that's chrome gold and i think i used uh yeah i used uh Vallejo's, uh jet exhaust yes that was a nice color Cylinder head cover with Kawasaki it's out in chrome. Okay, this has um, a thick and a thin lug, which makes her up to the thick, thin gaps on either side, so we should get the right way around. Let's go on. Is this little part which goes across this grave here? So like that with the uh, squarish part on the outside. So we're going to put an extra thing in there. the engine uh, built up. So what I'm going to do is wet the knife uh, just to dry properly. I'll uh, go over with a uh, panel line wash. So we've got a bit of detail. But uh, that's the construction done. So then we'll get some panel line wash in it when it's dried a bit. Uh, so we'll come back when we're doing that and we'll see how we look. Okay, so just while we're waiting for the uh, glue and the engine to, to try, I would uh, put the uh, frame together. It's got the two halves. Um, what I thought I'd do, I'd say, watch a few things where they fill in some of the gap in the frame. So I thought I'd give it a go. So I just did a little bit at the bottom. Um, I'm quite honest with you, it's a bit of a faff for what you get. But uh, anyway, it's in there now. And then I don't think I'll bother again. I just say it was for what it does. It, uh, doesn't enhance anything. So, 
got two halves. There's a tube there which goes in for the handlebars to go through. And where are we? Two struts at the back. And these cover pentachrome and cover all these little sports which has a little nut in it. So the I think it's one of the garlands gets uh, screwed into it. Yeah, that's the way around. So I'll uh, leave those separate and paint those up chrome as well as these. And I'll fit those uh, in a bit. Um, so they've got the uh, tube in on there. Okay, so I say there's two crossbars. This has a hole in it. I think the suspension for the uh, race wing arm gets screwed into that. And this uh, goes to the bottom. You can see there's a shape, shaped hole which matches the side of this, so I'll just end up. And these parts basically point downwards. So uh, get some extra thin on there. Okay, and the next one up goes. Though with this part sticking out to the back. Let's add the two parts together. So that effectively is the frame done. So say just these nuts, drum bits that go over cover nuts that gets screwed into. So we're gonna let that dry, just check some of the joints, and then we'll get that primed. This is basically the old uh, semi gloss plate with a few nuts and things picked out. So once that's done, you can then screw that onto the frame and uh, move on. So, so we'll uh, let things dry and we'll come back for some uh, priming and painting, joint uh, checking and some uh, 
and my washing on there. Okay, so that's got the uh, frame done. Um, basically, it's all uh, semi gloss black X18. Uh, bits and a bit of couple bits in uh, chrome silver. It's metallic grey, I think it is. Nothing's gone metal. Yeah, it's gone metal grey for the brake piston on there, and the brake fluid is white. So otherwise, that's all a lot of detail. So what I'm going to do now is fit in two little nuts, these holders on the side here that uh, will hold the uh, cowling on. And then we can uh, hit the engine. The oil filter fallen off, so I'll stick that back on. So the engine, filter it last night, so put some uh, panel line wash on it. Did that a few days ago, so it's a plenty of time to uh, to dry. Just brings a bit of the uh, detail out. I'm pressing up here. This would be quite flat, so I say it's sort of giving a bit of shadow, a bit of depth to it. Um, so paint that, uh, get that stuck back on, and then we'll uh, come back and show you these bits. Okay, so we've got this there, little brackets to uh, to make up. So we're just playing them, uh, painting those in the chrome as well. So all we need to do is drop one of those to the hole and then glue it to the back. Simple as that. Can make the other one a bit easier. There we go, that's a little bit easier. So they fit on these brackets here. Stand up, I'll lose taking the paint off a bit. So I'll see if we can get this one on. Nice and showy. Okay, so we'll let those uh, dry properly and then we'll uh, move on to. Uh, in the engine. Okay, so that's got those uh, glued on. Give me a chance to have a good try. So I'll touch those up in a little bit. Um, see, it's come off a little bit. I don't think you'll be able to see much of them anyway with the uh, cowlings on, but um, might as well make it look good. So what we do now is uh, put the engine in. So that fits between these two brackets. Lines up. Comes the front there. And then we uh, use the little uh, black screws.
Okay, so that's the engine and the uh, frame done. Apart from a little bit of touch up, as I mentioned. Okay, so we've got that uh, part two done. And uh, the next part, we move on to doing uh, things with wheels and uh, various swing arms and things. So, uh, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in uh, part three.